What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks with a buzz bait. Uh, we're going to do it with this specific buzz bait right here. This is an old buzz bait that I've had. It's probably 15 years old. Um, we've had it for a really long time and I'm going to do my secret trick with this that I use on almost all of the buzz baits that I truly throw all the time. Um, and I think it's a trick that you guys should all know about. Something I've been kind of hiding in my back pocket for a long time. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do it. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Then we're going to jump onto the pond and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, so um, the things you're going to need, first and foremost, you're going to need um, wire bend pliers, uh, split ring pliers, obviously a buzz bait. Uh, I like a very small, uh, this is a little Colorado blade. Uh, I don't remember the size, unfortunately, but a little small one. And then I prefer swivel hooks that already have uh, a split ring on both sides. That's all you need to make this. Uh, it should take all of just a couple minutes and then we're going to jump on the pond and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Uh, I think this is really, really easy to do and I highly suggest you guys try it out. Uh, I catch a lot of fish doing this, so let's just get started. First, you're going to want to get the willow, or uh, willow, you're going to want to get the Colorado blade on here. So bust out the plyas. And I actually prefer to put it on, like you can see how it's tapered here. I like to put it on the back end of this. So basically get the split ring on to your blade just like that. Now that we have the Colorado, the small Colorado uh, blade actually on the swivel, we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna break out our wire bends. Right here on this little spot here, you see this little extra piece, if you will. It's to keep this retainer essentially on here so that this has a thing to spin on. Well, we're gonna use that. We're gonna take our little blade piece here and set it right down in there, okay? Now, this is actually probably the hardest part because it needs a little bit of muscle, but we're gonna take this and just bend it up. There we are. All right, so what we've done is we've bent this really hard into uh, that end cap. So now it's not gonna come off, it's not going anywhere, and it's gonna hang right there. Um, a lot of people like to add like trailer hooks to this. Um, they like to add, um, like different types of soft plastics. I, I'm not saying not to do that still, um, but I wanna show you just, this is like the most basic version of what I like to, and have always called a Pika chatterbox. Uh, there was a gentleman, Mr. Pika, that used to do this. He was a tournament fisherman with my dad. And uh, this was what he threw buzz baits with. He made these exclusively. Um, he has since passed, and I'm really the only person I know that still makes them. Uh, to this day. I mean if you guys know somebody out there that still does this very interesting But I personally think this is the only way to throw a buzz bait uh, A lot of times you'll see like when people throw a buzz bait out it sinks a little bit into the water This gives a little flutter it slow and makes the fall a little slower um, Pops up really really quick and it makes a really unique noise um, In my opinion when it's going and also adds bubbles like more bubbles to the buzz bait. So let's uh Let's go out, let's use one that I've made, and uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. All right guys, we're here, and there it is. What has been always called to me as the Pika Chatterbox. <clears throat> um, it's the, this is my specific version of it. The ones back in the day were much smaller. We've talked about all that already, but it's time to see how it works. I also think these make a heck of a different noise. Um, and I really dig that. So, let's see if we can get it started up early, huh? I love fishing this pond. Uh, it's, the, the conditions are not good though. The conditions are pretty bad at the moment. Um, bright sun, not a ton of clouds. Midday, well, later, later in the day, I guess, we would call it. But we're gonna go with it. We are gonna go with it. now. Oh wow, okay, second cast. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, he came off, but this thing just gets bit. I mean, this is bright sun. This, this is the weather we're dealing with here. Um, this is a, a pond that gets pounded, and I mean pounded by people. 
The fact that there's nobody here right now is beyond my comprehension. Um, I mean, that's second cast, guys. That was second cast, and we got blown up on. That's how powerful I think this lure is. Given I didn't land him, I was kind of being an idiot. Uh, I don't, again, I don't have any trailers or anything on this, guys. It's just simple. I mean, you guys can change it up. You know, you guys can add the plastics, you can add a trailer, whatever you guys want. Everybody wants their own thing. I don't, I don't think it needs it. I really don't think that it needs it. Um, I think it's just fine the way that it is. I love the way that it is. Personally, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it needs any of that stuff. Um, I think it works really well. I'm a big fan of this buzz bait. I think other people, once they start doing this modification, will really like it too. Now, this is going to be one of those times where we kind of jump ahead to my next fish catch, if there are any, hopefully. Or if I come up with something smart to say. Let's see what happens. But actually, let's just listen to that for a second. Listen to this. just makes such a different noise with that on the back. It makes such more of a rattle noise. I think it just irritates fish even more. All right, now we can jump fast forward. Oh no, he missed it. All right, we're going back after him. There we go. That time we got him. That time we got him. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Okay, easy. Easy does it, easy. He's hooked well. Ooh! Look at that, boys and girls. Oh, oh. That's what we're talking about. Midday, just tank. Just tank Zilla. Tank Zilla. Midday with the frickin' buzz bait. That's why I love throwing these things. They just get biggins. Just get biggins. All right, I gotta put them into my catch app, and let's get a release. All right, guys. Again, beautiful fish. Let's get her back in. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Thank you for, for playing. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Needed that. That is a prime example of going back after it and getting it. I might actually make another cast right through there. There could be more. Oh my gosh, no way! Are you kidding me? That was so fast. I mean, guys, this is midday buzz bait. Okay, it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I've already gotten three bites on this thing. Should have had two fish. Really just landed one great one though. All right, let's keep it moving. I don't get bit all the way out there actually.
Ooh, another blow up. He just missed it. They're not being super aggressive right now. Come back and get it. Come on now. <coughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Love you, bye. Cool. We got extended time to fish now, boys. Before, we didn't have any time. Now we got plenty. All right, let's keep this show on the road. I'm gonna come back through here on my way back. Make sure I fish all of this again. Go in the other direction. Change the angle. All right, we're gonna hit this drain ditch pretty good. seem to be on these little weed clumps. I keep seeing them, so it's something we're gonna have to target here pretty quick. a little jacked up. Let's fix that.
see a lot of stuff going on up here. So, looks like a lot of fry. Let's see if I can't make something angry about that. Huh. Seeing so much fry right here, guys. I feel like I should get bit right here. All right, now that they're up top, I'm gonna, this is something very versatile about this, is I can drop it underneath the water column, not on the surface. Look at how much commotion I'm making underneath. Now, there's a chance that all that shine, I mean, it looks like a freaking spinnerbait underneath the water. <clears throat> so it doubles up. Wow, look at all those fry. Holy cow, there's so many. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Love seeing that. We got two more casts down this area here, and then we're gonna work our way back. All right, there's like a piece of brush right here I wanna smack, and then we can dip back. Just feel like it needs, needs worked. There we go. Oh, another good one. Stay down, baby, stay down. Stay down. Atta girl. Come on, stay over here. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. Called that little piece of brush, didn't I? Didn't I? All right, let's get her into eye catch as well. And we can go work our way back. All right, guys, time for a little Bit of a release here. Oh, I'm gonna die on the rocks. Okay. See you, darling. Oh, awesome. Just awesome. All right, guys, let's on our way out, hit the culvert, and then hit you with that outro. <clears throat> oh, golly. What does this guy think he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll work. <laughs> what? Dude, what do you think you're going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? How about those reeds? Think there's one in those reeds? I guess we'll find out, huh? Man, I really thought there'd be one right there. I think he's maybe in them. I think we got to make like the this cast here. Okay, well, he was hanging out over there. <laughs> so guys, in literally zero time, I've caught all these fish on the Pika Chatterbox. 
That's awesome. Let's leave some for some other people. Gosh, that was fun. All right. Whew. Well, all right, guys. That is what I call a Pika chatterbox. By far my favorite way of throwing a buzz bait. The only way I personally throw a buzz bait. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever seen one. Let me know what you do. Uh, if you make one, please tell me how, how you do with it. Hit me up on social media. media. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And as always, happy foozing.